The other day, I was flicking through social media and an ad for some mask was there, right? And I'm like, ah, I don't even watch those anymore. What new mask can be invented? Well, I tried scrolling past it, but it got stuck. And I think I actually clicked on the ad and it popped up. And then I, well, I watched it. And I thought, wait, that's interesting. The person took the mask off and snapped it right on their wrist. And I go, ooh, that is pretty cool. It's by a company called Slap Mask. That's what we're going to look at today. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. My channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below. That way you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. One more thing, don't forget to check down the description for my social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I would love it if you would follow me there too. Now, let's take a closer look at the slap mask Ooh, to see if it's any good. So here is my slap mask. I purchased this from their website. It cost around $20 and that included the shipping and it arrived in like three days. So I'm pretty impressed with that. There's just a rip tab right here at the top. So let's open that. Of course, it's got like a zip or a um, zip lock there. Okay, let's open it up. Ooh, that's cool. I wonder if that goes in it. It must be a replacement. Oh, that's clever. All right, so I can feel that there's one of these bracelet type things inside here. You can sort of see it right there. It's just a regular size mask. I will do a measurement. It seems a little small as far as coverage from your face. I do feel this metal part here that people like around their nose. So let's just slap it around my wrist real fast. Let me take this one off. Oop, I went the wrong way. Maybe I'll go this way. Okay, that's cool. I do like the convenience of that. So they do send you two of the little um, slap pieces, and I guess you can just pull it out right here. Very neat. So let's go test this out to see if I like this on my face. I was gonna put this on, but then I got it close to my face and it really stinks. So I'm gonna wash it first. So the only thing I could find with directions, it tells you to take out this rubber part, the slap part, and then wash it. It doesn't tell you what kind of water, like hot, warm, whatever. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wash this as I would a typical mask. Cold water, I'm going to use gentle cycle, that kind of thing. I'll put it in a washer bag so it doesn't get lost. And when I'm done with that, we'll test it out. We are washed and dried and ready to put this back together. I'm gonna to show you the correct way or at least the way that the manufacturer and company tell you to. You see how you see the slap mask right here? Well, when I put my bracelet back in, I put it upside down so the logo is down. Just a little effort and it slides back in. This is cool that they have a little piece of material here that just wraps around it so you don't see that edge. The idea is you're supposed to wear it with this slap mask logo towards your face. I didn't really get this, that you're supposed to actually keep the bracelet part in there when you have it on your face. That's going to feel weird. So I'm going to try it out, but here we go. It actually looks good after the wash. Um, I will say that when I remember when I washed it earlier because of the rubber smell, that's actually the smell from this piece. I still smell the rubber smell, so I went and smelled this, and sure enough, that's what the smell is. The mask smells fine, but now we're gonna test it out. Did you have these bracelets when you were a kid? I did, and I loved them. Anyway, what do you think of the slap mask? Is this something that you would use? Have you used it? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. Let's put the mask on as per the company's recommendations. Okay, so. This slap mask right here, that logo goes on the inside. So what I'm supposed to do with it fully extended, I wanna make sure that my ear pieces are ready and they recommend having at least half the loop there. And so I've, I've pulled that. So now I'm gonna put my mask on just like this. Snap it here, put it around my ears, pull it down and I can snit, cinch it right there around my nose. All right, so what do I like about this? One, I like that this snap thing or whatever this bracelet is creates space between myself and the mask. So therefore, I can chat, I can breathe. If I had chapstick on, you know what? It wouldn't bump up against the mask. I will say sometimes, sometimes, this part right here stays right in the front and it does not move. Most of the time, it moves left or right or left or right and that is very frustrating. All right, so the size of the mask that I purchased was a medium large adult. I could not find a larger size, so they do have children's sizes, which are smaller, but that's what it looks like here. It's breathable. I like that, but 
very annoying that this thing goes back and forth. So here we have my glasses. I still have that piece in here. I've tightened this around my nose as best I can. Let's see how we do. So as I'm talking, do you see if my glasses are fogging? Yeah, they are. Fog fest. Absolutely no good. I mean, I've got this tightened pinch. Now, maybe if your face was smaller than mine and this was more compacted, maybe that would be beneficial. But as for me right now, my glasses are fogging up pretty bad. So this is just a little tip for me. So I kind of wish that the company would have this piece attached to the piece on the other side because I notice as I bring this back and I just looped it together, right? Nothing fancy. This doesn't present the problem anymore and the mask fits better. So Slap mask, if you're out there watching this, man, if you put a second generation where you clip this thing together, therefore creating less stress on my ears and pulling the mask tighter and it's still comfortable, man, that's just a little pro tip for you, free of charge from Jeff Reviews for you. So this is how we now take our mask off and set it up to be slapped onto our wrist. So just release it from both sides. What they recommend is you actually take the mask, and remember how we had that slap mask part right here on the inside? So you fold it down so it's covering where your mouth goes and you pull the other part up and over. And so that's what slaps on your wrist. Therefore, the part that connects to your mouth um, is not actually touching your wrist and they say keeps it more hygienic or cleaner for you and your mask and your face, I should say. I want you to try out the mask as just a mask without the slap bracelet parts in it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on the same way because it's just like a mask, right? Put it around my ears. Tuck this underneath my chin there a little bit and tighten this around my nose. Cause I think if you don't like the slap bracelet parts, you might be able to use this as a regular mask and maybe would alleviate some of our problems. Let's see the glasses test. Nope, still fogs up, but you know what? I kind of don't feel like this is uncomfortable. It's not that bad. Now it's not as breathable. And if you notice when I go like that, this goes in and out, and that did not happen before with the bracelet part. I just wanted you to see that you can use this as a regular mask without the slap mask bracelet things. In this video, we've been looking at the slap mask. It's a new type of mask that uses that old school slap bracelet technology to slap the mask to your face and then also to your wrist. Anyway, if you're interested in purchasing this, I will leave a link down in the description right now. All I can see is you can order it from their website. So if I do a pros and cons, one, this thing is really annoying back and forth. I don't care for it. And it also pulls it off my nose. Um, also the mask for me wasn't big enough. As you can see, if I want it around here, around my chin, which I like, it pulls it right off the top of my nose. Now, if you, like I said before, if you have a smaller face, you may like this. Um, but me, uh, I don't really think so. Also, the part that I don't like is, am I gonna remember every single time to fold this up? Look, even just that, I pulled it off my face and it just rolled up. So am I gonna remember every time to fold this this way, fold this this way, and slap it on my wrist? Probably not. My wrist is gonna get sweaty. It might transfer germs to the mask. For me, not so much. Anyway, if you like this, I will post their link to their website down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for you. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. If we were to take a measurement of this mask, it measures across around nine inches and the widest part right here is just about five inches. So there you, there you have it. On the sides here, you're about three inches. So similar to other masks, for me, I would like it if it was wider here and here than of course in the middle, but maybe as the company develops them, they might make some extra large masks. But as for me, this was a little too small. I just wanted you to see the actual measurements. Now, um, they, I wanted to show you right here up close and personal how they recommend how to fold it. So you fold it down and over right here. And then if you're quick enough, you can just throw it. All right, let's try that again. If you're quick enough, you could just throw it onto your hand. Let's try that again. There we go. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of the slap mask. And I do like the convenience that it's right there and I didn't lose it. That being said, I do have some that you can put on lanyards so I don't lose those either. Anyway, not that long ago, I actually reviewed another mask and it's a mask by Copper. It's called the Copper Wear Mask. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link that review right up here and I would love it if you would click on this link. And by the magic of the internet, when you click right here, I'm gonna join you at that review. So go ahead, click it, it's safe, I promise.